Hello, this is Goddess 7 and today I'm going to show you how to make Luigi, the main character, in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Now this doesn't involve any hat codes or something, so you could have this as a ROM hack or ISO hack, whatever this is, actually. Yeah, it would be an ISO hack, because this is an ISO, not ROM, but anyways. So, using this trick, you can make your, you could have everyone use Luigi as the main character rather than Mario, and it's not like they have a choice, but you kind of have to use Luigi as the main character. So what you need is these four fold files here. You need layout.zip from the, this thread that I made. You need luigi.arc. Luigi.xml and Mario.arc. See, I'll move that up so you can see it for a second. And then, after you have those files, minimize that. Go to Downloads. Now I'm going to take these four files and just put them on my desktop for now, so you can see easier. There we go. I have all files I need. Now if you just thought you could swap Mario.arc and Luigi.arc, I'll show you you can't do that because the reason is that the there's stuff in the files that need to be renamed and I'll show you by showing you. Yeah. So I'll just show you nope, it'd be in the original files. Here we go, Luigi and Mario. So if you just thought you could rename them, I'll show you that you can't, because you'll notice that if I get like two of those, come on, let me open another brawl box. And I'll just open another Luigi.arc. I mean, another character, which is Luigi. I looked at them and I'm like, these are different. So you can't just rename the files because you'll notice that these are called LBs, LCs, MBs, MCs, and stuff like that. Plus, the order is different. I don't know if the order makes a difference, but I just did it just in case. So I rechanged the order, I renamed all these files, and I even, you even have to go through here, see it says Mario all root here, and over here it'd say like, Luigi all root, and you'd have to change all of those, so, I'm saving you lots of time by just giving you these dot arcs, so, yeah, and for the layout folder, you may notice this big zip file here, what that is, is, uh, let me go to the layout folder. Yeah, I just passed it. Here it is. And you'll see that it contains all these things. The thing is, I had to find all the Mario icons and I replaced them with Luigi stuff. So now Luigi is kinda, you get Luigi icons, which is good. The thing is, I'm still working on the sound effects like I'm tr I was trying to edit the brsar file that it, or whatever it's called to change to change the sound effects, but I couldn't get it to work. So if any of you can get that working to change the Mario and Luigi sound effects, let me know because I would like to use that. Because in my hack, I'm making Luigi is the main character. So anyways, moving on to these files, first thing you need to do is extract this. Now there we go, we have layout here, and you'll see another layout folder. You want this one, not the one outside, but this one, okay? So we'll just put that over here, 
and now we'll open our SD card. Here. The thing is, if you're making a hack, you have to have a SD card, and here we go. We have the Luigi, which is the thing with all my hacks. Now, the thing is, you could just paste, copy, and paste the layout and objects here and combine them, but let's say you don't want that. You don't want it. You just create a new folder. Let's say, let's name the main hack whatever you want. We want Luigi Hawk. We'll just open that folder, copy this layout, control V, paste it. And if you open it and see all this stuff, then you did it right. Now close out of that, create a new folder, call it object. Just so you know, this is case sensitive, so it must be a capital L and a capital O. Now copy the Mario and copy the Luigi files. The Mario file will make is actually Luigi, but you don't really need to do that. This is replacing the Mario model with Luigi's model, and this replaces Luigi's model with Mario's model. Okay, so now we have all the files set up here, and you can just put all your levels and stuff here. Maybe create a sound folder, maybe create that, that, that. Now you need to go in your revolution folder and copy the luigi.xml, paste it. Now chances are, open it and you'll say, say, it's Luigi enabled. Hang on, let me open this notepad. Notepad. So the thing is, you must change the name of the hack you're making. So it change Luigi char to the folder you want so it would be Luigi hack and then you could just do this bam 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 yeah you get the point no I don't want to save or even if you want you could take if you copied the files earlier you could copy copy the objects through the layout don't copy those two because chances are you already have those on so you control C this and then find the XML for the hack you're making no I don't want Microsoft stuff open with notepad and I already copied it here but for example, you would just paste it and then you would rename the Luigi char to the folder your hack is in. Now, if you do that, you must have the dot object and the layout you must have the object and layout folder in that folder, if you know what I mean. So you must have have uh sorry about that, I got a little interrupted. So when you're done you have your main hack folder make sure the object layout all your levels and stuff there and for example if you had something like this like a full hack then it looks something like this when you're done what this is this replaces the title screen and the and the Wii bootstrap message but most of the time you aren't going to modify this in case you're wondering what that is and this it's pretty self-explanatory it's the um, custom music that I made I didn't make but I put in my hack so anyways just make sure you have these two folders and that it's, the correct folder is named in XML and that's about it